at 170 from the lanky former electrician uh, sparked him into life because he could easily have been 8-2 adrift and that surely would have been game set and match to RVB but there's just now a little bit of a flicker for Harms he's still got what tenth of a chance can't call it half a well, chance Wayne can you it's not, not that big a hope at the moment not the way Barney has been playing you need Barney to go off the boil and where's to stay as he is because he's averaging One just hundred. shy of a ton Barney 106 this is a cracking game of darts at 170 that really could have changed was his attitude because it was looking like he's getting away from him 70 percent rvb we haven't seen that in a while no indeed he was down under 20 percent against christian kiss when he got in a real pickle against the uh, media world champ so that has made a big difference he's had a 156 Arms in a 170. He could have a 124 if he can hit the ball. 99. Remember, you require 170. Well, Wesley done it. Can you, Barney? Well, 95. Number 19 would lead the double. Thereof. 132. Wesley requires Pressure 25. on this 25. Double eight. Double four. Big dart. 21. Pulled it. Pulled it badly. Yanked it. Well, straight at it, surely, for RVB. Straight in it. Normal service has been resumed. 8-3. For the five times former world champion. There really is no point in hitting a 170 to break just to lose your throat 100 this is a good performance I know Wesley's losing 8-3 but this is superb Barney having a good day at the office so far highest average of the tournament so far Michael Van Gerwen against Phil Taylor, 108 and change. Barney threatening that benchmark figure. 140. Barney said at the top of the show that he wasn't playing as well as, say, MVG and Phil Taylor. Well, you are Barney. 100. You're averaging 106.99, man. Have some belief. Yeah, he won't have been. He won't have been double bluffing. He will genuinely think that. Six frustrates eight. Barney, doesn't he, with that? Because he, we all see him and think, "Oh, what a performance!" And, and then Barney will talk himself down. It's frustrating when we hear him say that. He feels he should just rise himself, get himself up, look for his win, like he is tonight. I've had some Where's real nice chats this week with with Ryan Butt and uh, Sylvia, and. Each time he talks about a game, he, he kind of knocks himself. Um, he needs to be more confident. Five world titles. Believe in yourself, man. You really are that good. Now, I would go treble 14, as would Barney. 61. 19 first. Well, treble is better if he can hit it. Still on because the treble 20 would leave the bullseye. And so I think we may well see RVB move to within a leg of the match. Brilliant. 9-3. What a performance. And as so often when he is playing really well, Raymond has made it look phenomenally easy this is a very difficult game to master but Barney is one of those players where isn't he, that makes it look so simple he's kind of laying down a marker isn't he you mentioned master Dutch master that's what he's trying to prove he is 
seen Christian Kist win, his countryman. He's trying to put Wesley firmly in his place. And with a performance like this, Barney comes into the reckoning. Well, it's been a resurgence 100. in uh, the Dartis from the uh, Netherlands this week. Michael Van Gerwen has been absolutely magnificent. Barney playing beautifully. Christian Kiss cannot be discounted. 100. It's looking like Barney will progress. It's not done and dusted 100. yet, we know that. Wesley Harms is the stage of the kind of comeback. He's going to have to do it the hard way. And that's breaking 16. Barney a few times. And when someone's averaging 105 against you, it's quite tough. 59. Wesley Dupont, 120. Oh, the single will leave the double for his second three-figure checkout of the match. Yeah, fine finish. 30, On 70 earlier, Wesley was spectacular. That was super two. Stage of the game. You can't win the game from the players' room. You've got to stay up there on the hockey and keep battling away. You've got to win six more, though. One leg at a time. After the first half, that was superb from Barney. Tons for Harms, and not enough. Got to hit 140s. 100. For Barneval, this is the set of a rematch with Christian Kist. 140. He lost to his fellow countrymen in the group stage. He lost 5-4. He missed three darts at double top to win that match. One wonders 16. what effect that game will have in the quarter-final tie. Will it have any bearing, Wayne, do you think? Longer format, in my opinion, no. We've seen a different Barney. It's no coincidence to me that it's a longer format and it's knockout and he can relax. Seeing Barney flow like this, for me, it's lovely to see. 100. Let me yes, 100. next round first to 16 legs. This is to reach that round, which is the quarter-final. Number 20 leaves the ball. Wow, Super setup. And leaves his favourite. Double 18. A fitting way for Barnabel to finish a wonderful display of data streak. 100. Revenue you for 36. This has been his friend over the years. Averaging 104.56, and it's a rematch with Christian Kiss. This is what's happened tonight, then. John Park rolling back the years, a 10 6 victory over Brendan Dolan. Where's Newton, a nail biter? Five ton plus checkouts in that one. Christian Kiss 10 9 after uh, Wes Newton now 164. Andy Hamilton 10 9 against Anderson, and Raymond Van Barneveld 10 4 against Harms. Look at this for a quarter final lineup. Scott Waits against Michael Van Gerwen, Dean Wynn, Stanley, Kevin Painter, John Parr, Andy Hamilton, Christian Kiss against Raymond Van Barneveld. The rematch is on. He likes the longer format. He says he's not playing as well as Van 